Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I made these business cards. I made these at home using Canva and some cardstock. So here we go. First go to Google and type in Canva or you can just go to canva.com. And then when you get there, you can see you can type in anything you'd want to make um, for templates or you can just go to the templates tab and look for a business card. And from here you can see that there are so many different kinds of samples that they give you for free. Um, but I'm going to actually go and show you how to make your own. Once you click create new business card, you're going to see here that there are also the templates on the side. But what I'm going to do is change the background and um, you can make it any color you want. And what I really like about Canva is that you can even customize the color based on their um, rainbow wheel. And you can see you can type in the number or the code and change the colors however you want. So you can also have text added through their templates. Um, so I just clicked one here, just as an example. And then you can also go to their elements tab and type in different things. So um, something that I found useful is social media icons or websites. So for example, if you want an icon for your Etsy shop, you can type that in and add it to your business card. They also have the, the icons for Instagram, TikTok, any social media platform that you really want to use. So for the sample here, I just decided to use Etsy, Instagram, and Facebook. But of course, you can rearrange these, make these smaller, change the colors, and really customize it to however you want. So this is how I made my business card using Canva. Um, I just played around with the different elements and text what I'm going to do is now import it onto Cricut. So when you click upload, um, you'll go to upload image, find the image, and then I click complex. I'm going to look for um, the tool to really erase everything that's going to be in my way when it cuts out with my machine. So you really want to make sure you get all the white spaces that are in between, um, especially all your letters and little logos. So it can take a little bit of time and it's a bit tedious, but once you get through it, you can just save it and keep reusing it. After that, you're going to go to save as a print then cut image. From here, you're going to insert a square on Cricut Design Space and I'm going to unlock it so that way I can make it into a rectangular shape for my business card. I'm going to also send it to the back so that my design will come up to the front and then I'm going to center everything so that it's nice and even. And then I'm going to group it together and then start duplicating the card. That way I can print out multiple at once. And you can also align them so that they're nice and even um, using the align tool. And the thing with Cricut is that you have to make sure that the dimensions are 9.25 inches in length and 6.75 inches in width maximum, so that way it will print it out. And after that, you're going to attach and flatten everything, so that way your machine is able to recognize that your design is just meant to be printed and not cut out, and it's only going to cut out the rectangular shape for your business cards. Okay, then you're going to go and click make it and print and then system dialog. So I don't like to add the bleed because I think it kind of shifts the design a bit. I'm going to go to the best quality and I'm using cardstock, but my printer, the setting is just plain paper. So I'm going to grab a piece of cardstock here. Once I insert the cardstock into my printer, I'm just going to print it out. I'm going to get my Cricut mat ready, so I'm using the light grip mat and I make the setting of my Cricut machine at light cardstock and that should do it for the type of business card that I'm looking for. Okay, after that I'm going to grab my scraper tool and I'm going to peel out all of the cards that are on the mat and this is just more of a gentle way to scrape it out without bending or ruining your cards. So sometimes it gets a little bit tricky because it gets sticky with the mat but um, the scraper tool should help. And then that is it. You have your business cards that are simple to make. Feel free to drop your tricks and tips in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this.
Thanks for watching.